Hello, my name is Troy Allen Gallat. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. Home invasion is a real thing. Tatiana Whitlock and Steve Fisher give you some ideas on how to deal with a home invasion. Hi, I'm Tatiana Whitlock with Trigger Time TV, joined by Steve Fisher of Sentinel Concepts. And in this episode, we're gonna discuss working as a partner to control the second story of your home. Let's say, for example, something really bad happened. You and your partner talk about having a plan, but have you walked through and considered all of the variables of actually executing that plan together? Hopefully you're both prepared with the tools and the training to do the job. But let's say you have family bedrooms on that second story with you. How are you gonna negotiate that space to keep your family safe? There's a million and one ways to go about this, and instead of introducing every what if scenario, we're gonna walk through a technique that you and your partner could practice, introduce you some things to consider, and give you some options. Yeah, we, we, we need to understand that we need to have this plan in place like anything else, uh, fire, fire drills, whatever the case is. But understanding how to move through the structure with a gun, control points of domination, and locking down that second floor and securing it is the key. Excellent. So first things first, try this at home with your partner. Make sure that you're working with clear and empty guns. We recommend no mm -hmm. magazines in the guns whatsoever. Draw the blinds so you don't freak out your neighbors. And make sure you do it when your children aren't home. Before you introduce this to your children, make sure you're gonna get it right. So let's make sure, safety first, clear, Good. excellent. All right. Okay. So for whatever reason, you're compelled to movement and to take and control that space. Muzzle direction is absolutely key here. We're gonna say we've got children in the second story with us. Our first obstacle is the doorway. So we're both going to approach it, and then a decision has to be made. Slide over. All right, so here effectively we control both fields of vision. One sees long, one sees short. From here, we need to progress on. How do we do that? Well, there needs to be some kind of signal, either a muzzle release or, hey, you just go. So how about go ahead and go? Go. We're staying together. We're not allowing our muzzles to go too far ahead of each other. So now we have. If you notice, we come to an open doorway. I'm providing blocking coverage for here, her, putting my gun in a space, either in a low ready or a high compressed ready position, allowing me to make entrance into the room without muzzle sweeping anybody. And if I had a weapons light attached, allowed to use different lighting techniques for that. So at this point, I would enter into the space. I would make sure everything is good. Children, quiet, doors, people. Then I would start to come back out of the room. At this point, my muzzle position would change. I would let her know at this point that I'm coming out of the room quietly by putting my arm on her shoulder, touching her, squeezing, letting her know I'm coming past, and then we would progress down the hallway. At this point, we would come to the next threshold or barrier that allows us to stop, pause, give me vision of the stairwell, her vision of the lower floor, even if that results in the fact of taking a knee to get a better field of view from her position, if she were to need to do so, and the rest of us to be able to cover the stairwell and or other spaces that somebody may or may not be in and occupying. We're trying not to bring the gunfight to the kids' room or to our elderly parents, whatever that situation is. So for me, I would rather bump past and lock down than take it to their room. Absolutely. Control the space that you own. We are not necessarily preparing for a zombie apocalypse. We're trying to give you techniques to stay safe within the environment that is your home itself. Muzzle direction is absolutely key. There's no need to rush. Take things nice and slow. Again, communication is absolutely vital. Train in the context of your life for the fight of your life and do it as a team. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by White Feather Precision Shooting. Glock, G-Code Holsters, Bravo Company Manufacturing, Bravo Company USA, Silencer Co., Innovative Gunfighter Solutions, Kinetic Development Group, Nighthawk Custom, Brute Force Training, 
Longtail Outfitters, Flint River Armory, Zero Tolerance Knives, and ammunition provided by Precision Delta.